Minnesota State Mavericks are back at the Verizon Wireless Center this weekend after coming off the series sweep against Alaska Anchorage. Here's a great chance for the Mavs. Oh, Blue Grab, let's go! MSU will try and duplicate last weekend's performance against the Northern Michigan Wildcats, a team which is new to the WCHA as well as Mankato this year. Down low, Olaf Fontaine still has yes. score! Will the Mavericks prevail? Or will the Hungry Wildcats be too much for MSU to handle? That one just kind of fluttered and hung there, Don. That was very strange. Find out next on Maverick Hockey Weekend. Five hockey players pulled on a purple and white jersey for the first time. Four years later, these same Mavericks have left their mark on the Minnesota State Hockey Program. Preparing for their final season game, Evan Mosey, Uriah Hayes, Eli Zuck, Phil Cook, and Tyler Elbricht reminisce on their time in Mankato all the way back to their first game as Mavericks. So I can picture mine perfectly thrown in third period. I want to say it was a 1-1 game or we were up 1-0 against Lethbridge. Gave up three quick ones. <laughs> uh, then uh, we went into OT, won in an OT, felt so disgusted with myself. I didn't see the ice uh, after that till December and then that's when I kind of got on a roll and started playing. Um, 
but in practice it was unbelievable. I more or less I was just turning around picking pucks out from the net the first <laughs> week, just trying to get adjusted to things. But I was pretty on that week. Yeah, yeah. you you looked great. Honestly, thought you were the next Hobie. My shot was incredible. Yeah, yeah. it was. It I was, was a pretty laser. excited too. I actually scored that game, first game of my college career, <laughs> exhibition, and then from there it was just downhill, no goals all year. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's you my did. first experience. You're great at exhibition. But when you do score, though, your sellies are unbelievable. Well, yeah, it only happened once every year. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you dream about your sellies. Like well, I dream like I score yeah. every day, but I don't. I think Wiley, Wiley had the game winner in that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. he had a little right-handed yeah. dangle. Didn't they right? hit the <laughs> goalie in the helmet or yeah. something? I'm glad you guys remember yeah. this because I don't remember anything about our exhibition First game. game. Well, Moe, you're starting to get old. It's okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's yeah. fully interesting. I think Hastings is full of wisdom. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's so much advice that guy gives you. You can't, can't keep it all contained. I wish I could like have a notepad every time the guy talks, but I don't know. I I think the best advice is just you know cover the rink, be accountable for your actions, and you know play for each other. I think the biggest thing he preaches is family. So I think that just cherish what you have in the locker room because especially this year, it's something pretty special. I'd have to agree, Phil. Yeah. Thanks, memorable is probably one of them is sweeping Minnesota sophomore year I yeah. think it was yeah yep. I mean we've had a lot of big sweeps this year but sweeping Minnesota at home yeah especially when it was just fun it was especially after I mean being not an upperclassman and not really experiencing it yet sweeping Minnesota was probably one of the best on ice memories It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to beat the go beating the Gophers. I mean, anytime you beat the Gophers, like even this year, beating them in their in Mariucci. Yeah, that was, yeah. was awesome. Beating them at home was good too. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the best memories are yet to come though. This season has been one of transformation for the Minnesota State men's hockey team. Coming back from a shaky season last year, the Mavericks and the seniors that lead them have earned their success this year. The five men who are competing in their final season game at Minnesota State look back on their experience and pass words of wisdom on to the younger players. Uh, I'll probably take a day at a time because it goes so fast. I mean. Especially this year, I think we're, being seniors, we realize how fast the four years goes, and I mean, we have two regular season games left, and it's the memories and everything like that, it's just flown by in four years. So sure has. I'd helps. say taking it day by day. Every year you hear it from seniors saying it goes faster than you think, and you're like, ah. Yeah, I know, <laughs> for real. Yeah. 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 You got two more no, years, three great. more years, yeah. yeah. Can you believe that? Us five are, are the seniors now. Like, yeah, the only five left. Yeah. <laughs> Lost a couple. Lost a couple. Yeah. Lost Started with seven. seven. Started with seven. Well, let's not get all emotional here. <laughs> <laughs> What's rewarding part about being? Just part of the family. I think, yeah. I mean, yeah. every time you're on the ice and Every win, there's a new memory, and depending on who scores or what happens during the game, I mean, there's some games that we win one nothing, but it's not even really the score or the win that you remember. It's what's going on in the locker room or on the bench, or that satisfying yeah. feeling that yeah. you get after you've just gone through 60, 65 minutes of battling with the the boys. 
seeing guys score that don't top. score usually or yeah, you know, yeah guys getting big goals and just or a big hit it's the memories like that that are yeah. or a big block shot oh come on now hey. Yes, we have a lot of togetherness. I don't know if there's a lot of like things that I feel like things that happen in a hockey team, every other human being or sports teams would think we're weird. Yeah. I just. We're real close. Yeah. Real no, close. A little too close sometimes. It's hard to put it. But like we're like brothers. I mean. Like anything we goes. We sick of each other, <laughs> but at the same time, like, yeah, anything goes. You know, if so, two guys are going button heads, you know, no one's afraid, you know, just go at each other but at the same time at the end of the day they're gonna hug it out and yep. we're all yeah. gonna be well if you really think about it what's the x factor compared to any other sport what is think the x factor it? eli i don't know i'm trying to think about that it's a deep question <laughs> probably because really spe- i mean we spend you can spit out anything but that it's probably similar to other sports teams, yeah. basketball yeah. teams uh, i mean they spend a lot of time together i think we spend them all i think we're together i think it's the lifestyle round. it's yeah I think it's the yeah. fact that we're together year round. Where That's what I was looking for. Just baiting you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're looking at being in the tournament, hopefully having home ice. And I mean, we all five of us could easily, I mean, we've had the opportunities probably mentally to pack it in. And I don't think any of us ever have. So it's. I'll just I mean, say enjoy all the moments. Yeah, yeah. enjoy everything because it goes a lot faster than you think. I mean, obviously. yeah, I wanted to say that, but I, I was, I was gonna, I didn't want to sound like every other senior class, you know, like oh, it goes fast, <laughs> but it does, it really does. Yeah. The memories and experiences these players have had at Minnesota State will remain with them for the rest of their lives. We've enjoyed being a part of your journey, Evan, Uriah, Eli, Phil, and Tyler. And Maverick Hockey Weekend wishes you the best of luck in your future.